Good morning. Today's comp day. Competing. Just finished breakfast. A few thousand calories. A few thousand calories. Um, you know, I been along myself here in uh, Columbus, Ohio, just to have you know some bacon, eggs, eating breakfast with the boys, enjoying myself, try to be stress-free. I actually feel, I feel very good. Um, I don't feel as stressed as in the past. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's because you have your whole team here. I usually have the whole team with me. It's not like an issue. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't have to put too much pressure on myself. First show coming back, I'm no fucking clue. But anyways, I'm ready. I did my best in training. I'm just excited. Just excited to uh, you know, do my absolute best against the best in the world today. I'm honored to be able to compete against these guys again. After just a long break, after just four years of not being active. So, you know, we'll see. I'll do my best. I'm very excited for the first event, obviously, the deadlift. That's my event to lose, I feel like. Then, 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 then we have the frame carry. Those two events are on day one. And I think I think I can do very well in both of these, those events, you know. Um, frame went very smoothly in training. Ran with uh, 400 kilograms, which is the comp weight. Uh, my grip has been feeling stronger than ever, I feel like. So, you know, we'll see. What's that? Go there. Fine. We're gonna go for a walk. Lapa. Is, uh, is it an invite, <laughs> invite or a threat? <laughs> okay. I'm coming. Sorry. Okay, I'm coming. Alright. Where are we walking? Just. Here somewhere. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Ten minutes walk. Two meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get the digestion going. going. Guys, tricks if you guys want to knock somewhere, huh? You want someone to really hear you? Knock with an open fist, like this. Like this. Yeah. Come and do it. Show the difference. There's a big difference. That's weak. That's weak. <laughs> that's, that's like proper yeah. weak. Proper. Oh, that's not Sebastian's rule. Oh, oh shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's it's a 10 minute walk. Yeah. Oh, no. We can't go anywhere else. Oh, oh. So we went down to uh, the ground floor and we're yes. going to walk. Yes. But you got uh, bombarded with uh, people, right? Yeah. So you're doing a 10 minute walk on your floor, right? On my hallway? Yeah. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I wish I had a bike on my room, that'd be nice. So I could just bike. Who's doing it? We'll get back. We'll go yeah, back. Yeah, we'll just go. Yeah, touch the wall. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's it's, it's, it's Friday, it's too busy downstairs. There's so many people, so we'll just, we'll just do the 10 minutes walk here. Pop pop is about walk back and forth here like fucking 20 times, but that's okay. All right, guys, my last meal before I pull some weight in the deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, this, what time is it? It's um, 17 minutes 12 o'clock right now. Uh, so two and a half hours before the event, uh, I'll eat this. I'll definitely snap, but I won't have a full meal again, but I have another full meal after the deadlift. Um, so I'll eat this. This is gonna take me, because I'm, I'm not really hungry at the moment. Um, it's 12, 13. I probably won't finish this until, like, it's gonna take me like 20 minutes. I'm a, slow eater now, the stress involved, um, and sometimes when you're stressed you don't really have the appetite, I don't really have the appetite, but I want to eat this, so I'm gonna eat this. Um, mm -hmm. 
And then so you're, yeah. ta you're taking the bus to the venue in a few minutes. I'm huh? taking the bus to the venue in a few minutes, so yeah. I gotta start eating and yeah. I gotta probably take this with me to finish yeah. it on the, on the go. <laughs> Focus on your food, man. We'll see yeah. you at the venue. Yes, sir. Percentage having won 10 of 36 events here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Half Thor's won 12 of the 45 he's been in, so guy who can hit a ton of home runs here as well. Well, Half Thor says what happens happens. Half Thor's here to win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No question about that. Schwarzenegger right, looking on is Hathor Bjornsson. First attempt, 420 kilos, 926 pounds. He's <laughs> I'd say he's back. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> nice, easy warm up. Yeah. Game on. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Let's roll it. And now, lifting for the win. In his return to the Arnold Strongman Classic, 1,006 pounds. Look at that pound. Even bar. Arnold's on his feet right 456 now. 456 kilos for the mountain. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty convincing. Yeah. Based on the last lift, I mean, this is, uh, it looks pretty good. <laughs> For the win. What else did you expect? Half Thor Bjornsson yeah. is back. <laughs> you know, as somebody that's still competing, I'm still such a fan of this sport. Yeah. And I'm to back. be able to watch that yeah. is so cool. Anybody that doubted it, that just. That was. <laughs> this feels amazing. To do this here in front of you guys, you guys are awesome. I just want to say before I leave, Chelsea, Morgan Hanson, my wife, Storm and Magne, Tessa Liv, I love you guys. The mountain is back! Your winner in the Elephant Bar Deadlift! It's
You know, I'm, I'm looking at the big picture. I want to I win this competition. I want to go out, out of this competition injury free. That's my goal. But I just want to thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Well, he is back. The man is back. He's already won the first competition, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That was, uh... wow, I actually surprised myself. It's been a such a nice journey coming back. I keep surprising myself, surprising myself, and, and, and without a doubt, without a doubt, today I would have broken my my my, my world record in the deadlift, without a doubt. I'm I'm really confident that I would have done it. But you guys have to, you know, understand that I'm I'm looking at the whole picture. I'm trying to do my absolute best in the whole show, and to do so, I gotta save energy. I decided to go for a thousand and six pounds just to, you know, give the crowd some love. Um, um, and yeah, I, I didn't really need to go that heavy to win the event, but I wanted to. I wanted to. I knew it would go up easy, but I was surprised how easy it actually went up. You know, one event down, first place, super happy. Second event is the frame carry. I am really, really optimistic for that event. Uh, it went really well in training, so I just gotta, you know, lock in that grip and go flying. You know, we'll do our best, guys. Let's fucking go. guys day one is finished and couldn't be happier really the deadlift went easier than I thought it would be and then the frame that's actually my best frame performance ever so that's good that's promising especially since you have the Dinny Stones tomorrow I know the Dinny Stones are slightly Different than the frame because you, well, I will hook grip it, you know, so it's a lot of pain. But I think with the crowd there, I won't really feel the pain. I'll just go forward. Um, so I'm really, I'm really optimistic for the for the for the Dinny Stones actually. Even though training was like up and down, I'm just being honest. Um, I still picked up the comp weight, moved a little, little, little bit. And I think on the day there with the crowd, I'll just hook a bit and just I'll just move. I'll move. And the good thing is, I'm not sure if they will go. Usually, usually they just go. You know, because I was I was second in the frame, so I'll go second last. 
sometimes in some competitions they will on the second day they will whoever is in first place goes last I don't think it's here can't remember how it is in the rules honestly I I, I, I think mitts will go last but uh, we'll see um, it's at least good to go you know second to last you know that's, that's good you think um, you sent the message today that you're you're back definitely I mean Definitely, 100%. I, I truly believe, guys, and you can have your own opinions, guys, but I truly believe today, if I was pushed, if, if I would have been pushed enough, I would have broken my deadlift world record. Like, I have not pulled, I have not pulled a thousand pounds this easy, I think, in my career. I seriously think that I'm getting close to my peak ever deadlift strength. Which is pretty crazy considering I had my fucking surgery 10 months ago. Like, I'm, I'm even surprising myself. Like, I'm just like, I keep surprising myself. I'm just like, whoa, like, is this really happening? Did this really go up this easy? But, good day, guys. Super happy. I just want to say thank you so much for the support. Um, you guys mean a lot to me. Um, I love the support I get, so thank you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. Day after the first comp day. Uh, how do you think that went? And uh, the predictions, or were they uh, as we uh, thought? Or Yeah, interestingly, they were very accurate. Yeah, we had two strategies coming into the, the day uh, for the deadlifts. And uh, we decided to go for the second option, which was your original option, Stefan. Yeah. Which was, uh, yeah, 420. And that was so easy. Wow, how exciting when we saw that 420, huh? And it's like, he's back. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, you know, backstage. Uh, so Bobby Thompson, his opening attempt was heavier than Thor's. And my first thought was, we're going to do 420. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone's going to open heavier than that. And if they do, I don't think that's a smart strategy. I remember thinking this. You, and then, I remember you were saying that. Yeah, and it's like, well, that's fine for us because I don't think they're going to go much higher. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a good opener for anyone else. Like, no offense to the crowd, but we know that what Thor's capable of and 420 is a nice, easy opener mm -hmm. for, for Thor. But for everyone else, it's not easy. Anyway, 435 was, was Bobby Thompson's and we looked at it and thought, okay. Still a good, but, but definitely... Um, Definitely, like, he were not gone much, much heavier. Like, I, I don't think, I mean, my second attempt would have been a real struggle, I think, for him. Like, that's just honest opinion. He, he didn't have a thousand in him. No. No, I think he had maybe 10 more kilograms in him. Maybe he, he had a 445. Maybe. And he was wise to not take that second attempt. I think it was, yeah. He, you know, none of the guys are stupid. No. You know, they're all pretty smart. Yeah. And actually, you know, I, I was there when, when Loz said to him after his first attempt, he said, you're second, don't take a second attempt. You're just going to waste energy and you're not going to come close to Thor's lift. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's good advice. And I think Bobby knew that as well. I know it was a joke, but it still wasn't a joke. So uh, the two of you, Stefan and Thor, Thor came after his second attempt and said what to you? Yeah, I thought it was quite funny. That he pulled that what thousand six, thousand six, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he comes backstage and he, he tells me, "I think I might do five hundred five kilos." <laughs> Make a statement and just stir things up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I could, ju I just felt he, he was mean. He meant it. Yeah. He meant it. And I was like on the brakes, like no, 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 no. We, we have <laughs> four more events. Yeah. But like, I know it's funny, but it, it's funny. But I actually think that. What do you? Th I think you could have done it. Generally, after pulling thousand six, I genuinely believe there's a possibility of five five that day raw. Um, Hundred percent broken my record with, with without a doubt. It was obviously very tempting, As and it's, it's 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 tempting to do these lifts because it's 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 a it's a it's something that guys have been trying to do for for years now. Has the thousand pounds ever felt this easy? It has never in my life felt as easy. Um, That's something. I'm, 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 I'm constantly surprising myself, uh, especially this preparation, just coming back 
it's just, yeah, I was, that's why I came back. I was like, I was so shocked. I remember walking, walking to Stavros and saying, let's go, let's, 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 let's pull five, 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 yeah. five or five. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, with a small joke in mind, but that at the same time being serious, you know, mm. like, of course I want to pull five or five. I think it's definitely there in the future. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice day once you finally do it. Hundred percent. And I think there's probably you'll be able to do it without a suit as well. Hundred uh, percent. Which I think would be a really nice thing because, as I was saying yeah. yesterday, and um, you know, in this modern day's uh, uh, lineup of strongmen, mm -hmm. no one's doing a thousand pounds without a suit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a few years ago, it was you, Brian, Eddie, Jerry, mm -hmm. Jerry. All doing over a thousand mm -hmm. without a suit. Mm -hmm. It was a, mm -hmm. yeah. So so these days it's interesting because there's more people doing a thousand pounds, mm -hmm. but none of them can do it without a suit. You uh, when you came when we came back here to the hotel room, we had some food, and you looked up from your phone and you said, "Guys, I actually just feel nothing. I feel mm -hmm. completely fine. How are you feeling today?" Yeah, I feel good. Into this? I um, I don't think I've ever felt as good after day one with any competition was a really good sign um just means I'm, i peaked very well for this competition clearly uh, but there's a big day today huge day today uh three, tough more, events. three events tough events very tough events i i'd say mm. today is a lot harder than yesterday especially since we have uh the Danny stones first which is going to be a brutal pain event i'd say I think most of the field is gonna hook grip. It's just gonna be pain. It's just gonna be pain. It's gonna be painful as long as you can just, you know, grind and 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 and, and, and brace, embrace the pain. You should you should be good to go. Um, um, and then obviously the axle, you know, the axle. Uh, with all the events, the axle has probably been the biggest challenge for me in this preparation. I just want to be honest, you know, it has been my biggest challenge. I'm probably most, most, most worried for that event out of all of all of the events. But still, again, you know, I keep surprising myself. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You surprised yourself with the frame carry yesterday? Yeah, you? we surprised we we all of us. We can't forget that because yeah. you surprised yourself. I think. Yeah. And yeah. You also said when we did the warm up. I uh, remember I took it to the to the frame and I asked you to pick it up, yeah. and you picked it up. And then you looked at me and said, it's never felt this easy. I might win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said that. You actually said that. I said that. Because most people like, they think you, you have struggled with this in the past. I have. I have struggled with this in the past. And I struggled with my grip sometimes in my career, but also had good, good grip in my career. Um, yesterday it felt very strong, feels very strong. I think my grip has never felt as strong in my career as it does today. So that's really promising, um, and yeah, you know, just with help of my great coaches here, Sebastian and Steppe, obviously everything is just going super smoothly. Yeah, let's not have this too long. Actions speak louder than words. You yeah. should have some uh, rest, and you're going to the yes, course in a uh, few hours, eh? Yeah. So do you want to do some predictions? Let's, let's do a quick yeah, uh, prediction. Denny Stones. This is I think I, I think I think should I give my quickly before mm -hmm. you give yours? I honestly I'm not gonna talk about you know what the other competitors do, but I'm just gonna say in general what I feel like I can do. I genuinely believe that I can actually win it's it's a such a wild event, yeah. but I always believe in myself. And I, I truly believe that I can with with if I if I if I grip it very well, I can win the event. Like I I'm just Call me stupid, but I just I truly believe that I can I can win that event. Um, second event, Axel, you know, I'm gonna be harsh to myself and 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 and, and say um, if I just make one till three reps, I'll be very happy. Especially since how the prep has been going, um, anything more than that, I'll be. You know, flying on the skies, basically. <laughs> You've done four uh, reps. In I've done four reps, but, but I don't feel like my 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 shoulder strings are, are near to that level yet. Your training wasn't the same. Was the same. Just because hasn't been feeling the best. For those that aren't following, which I'm sure they all are, you're coming back from a pick yes. tear surgery. How long ago was that? Uh, roughly ten months. Ten months ago was yeah. the tear. Yeah. Surgery was how much? How long with no training for for your upper body? 
Uh, wow, that's a good question. Um, maybe you, do, do, do you guys remember? It was at least, I think it was, could have been like three months of, yeah. of no pressing, no, so direct, no direct pec work. Mm -hmm. So I've been like training like for seven months. Seven now. months, but when you first started, it's not real training. No, you started really with, with very delicate training yeah. because of the, the nature of the surgery. Yeah. So you had to respect that. So, so realistically, this has been the hardest prep for all of your pressing strength. 100%. And you managed to get a rep of the competition weight. Yep. And I think that it looked good. Mm -hmm. And I think that I know how you perform on the competition day. And mm -hmm. if you can do it once, I know you can do it more than once. Yep. Um, four reps was what you got uh, when you first won the Arnold's. Yep. Um, that was when it was the last event of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, one to three, I, I doubt that you'll only get one. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I do think that four is possible. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the people that are great at this event is mm -hmm. going to be uh, Hooper, mm -hmm. uh, Matthias Kiliuskowski. Mm -hmm. He's done three of that, three reps in training, he said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I think that that's going to be the number. I think it's going to be anywhere between three to five mm -hmm. reps. Mm -hmm. No, not three. I think four to five mm -hmm. um, is going to win it. If someone gets more than five, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, but I definitely Tom has been doing very well as well in training. Tom Stockman? Yeah, very well. Yeah. The Stockman brothers are very great at pressing. Yeah. Martins Lisi is very technical, very intelligent. Yeah, think, yeah. <sighs> Everyone's amazing. Yeah. Um, but I think that you can definitely come top three in that event. Mm -hmm. Um, not based on your training, based on what I think I know about you and yeah. how you step it up on, on game day. Um, and then the final event is the most brutal thing I've seen. Yeah, brutal event. Uh, trial by stone, three, 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 three stones. Um, and I, I'm gonna be harsh to myself as well there, you know. I mean, I mean we all know Mat 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 is, a, is a fucking animal in, in, in that event. Um, I'd say... Top three, I'll be very happy. And I'm just gonna be, you know. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Matthias, his deadlift cost him a lot. Yeah. As it always does. So, yeah. so no matter what he comes, if he comes first, that's okay. I don't think that'll um, get him in in the top two yeah, overall. No. So I, I think that his best will be third place. I, I think it's a fight out between you and Mitch. Yeah. Uh, for 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 one and two. Well, a lot can happen still. Uh, so yeah. much can happen. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Just predictions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just predictions, you know. And, just a few uh, guys thinking out loud. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But yeah, it's nice to predict a little bit. Let me know. Please, guys, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think is going to happen and who's going to win, who's going to play second, who's going to play third. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys uh, live on Rogue Fitness YouTube channel. Peace, we out.